Hi friends, welcome to Young Channel. Do you want to know how to engrave your ideal pictures with the laser machine? This is a video tutorial some of you may have been waiting for a long time. Uh, in the comment section of this video, I noticed some people wonder how do we do the engraving. Today, I will give some tips based on our experience in making this work. First, you need to take a nice picture. Make sure it's clear enough. Then open the picture in Photoshop and process it. Here I want to point out that the picture needs to have sufficient contrast as well as enough pattern details. This is the final process picture we have. And perhaps you can do a better job. After processing the picture, you need to test the machine, try different engraving parameters, and select a set of relatively ideal parameters. We aim to engrave a gradient pattern on acrylic. We want to see a smooth transition from transparent to opaque while keeping the middle section of the acrylic semi-transparent. For our Nova Super 16, we recommend starting the test with a speed of 400. These eight acrylic pieces are the results of our test. This piece turned out to be the one we are most satisfied with. The set of parameters is speed 470, power 13, and resolution 300. Here's the point. Different machine models actually correspond with different parameters. Even the same machine can produce different results under different conditions. Factors like depth on the mirrors, power of the laser tube, alignment and distance of the beam path, etc. all can affect the result of the laser engraving. So the parameters we use just serve as a reference for you. You have to try and select the most ideal parameters with your machine. As long as your parameter setting can get a smooth gradient effect on acrylic like this, you will be able to engrave your ideal picture. Let me walk you through the whole operation process. Open the picture in light burn, make it mirror symmetric, select RF metal tube, set the speed and power, enable bidirectional scanning, negative mode, and set the resolution. Choose Jarvis algorithm. Of course, I think in artistic creation, there is no standard answer, and you might discover even better parameter combinations. Next, add each cutting line to the picture. And send the file to the machine. It's the time to begin the engraving. This is the final word we have engraved. Well, I think the effect is quite good. What do you think? Go ahead and try it yourself. If you have better methods, come and share with us. Let's explore more laser techniques together and create better laser artworks. All right, until next time, bye friends.